welcome to my second studio vlog. It is a little bit later in the day that I'm getting started. It's about like 3.30. Um, I got ready, straightened my hair, which I never actually do. And this morning I got rid of all of the Christmas decorations. That is where our tree was and now it's gone. So all the Christmas decorations are gone. It's kind of sad, but also so refreshing to have the house back to a normal state. I cleaned the house except for this area. So as you can see, this is like a podcasting station. Why would I need that? Um, my husband and I are going to try and start a podcast. So I'm going to make a separate video on how like behind the scenes, but we're actually recording. I'm going to do a, uh, a recording for an episode tonight and that's why it's all out. This is the our little switchboard and our mics and all that jazz, our little paperwork for our episode. Right now, we're just trying to record as much content and get it all edited and stuff. See, look at this girl. She has to be everywhere I am. But we're just trying to record as much content as possible right now and edit everything and get everything ready so that we have at least like five episodes up before we actually start like telling people about it. I don't know. But if you guys want to learn more about it, I will be making a video on it. So leave your questions if you have any. So it's a little bit late, but we are going to go upstairs and do some orders slash try some new products uh, for the shop. So. I'll meet you upstairs. So I bought a bunch of items that I am so excited about, some equipment items for the shop. Uh, and I actually have some right now. We just got a bunch of like toner and ink and, and stuff that we need for 2020. And uh, we're not an LLC or an S Corp. We're turning S Corp next, this month, next year, this year. 2020, we're turning S Corp. So we're not S Corp currently, or for the year of 2019, we weren't. So um, a lot of things that were basically, I don't know what tax season is gonna bring us. Truthfully, I didn't think that we were gonna make that much money in 2019. However, we did, and it kind of was like, holy crap, I need an accountant. So uh, I went to an accountant, he gave me some advice and stuff like that. Um, but regardless, I went to, I got a bunch of new equipment for 2020 and I cannot wait. I cannot wait to make some items from this equipment. So I'll show you what I got. I also have a one huge, huge purchase, which is a Glowforge 3D laser printer. I'm so excited about it. Um, so I'm gonna grab this stuff because it's, downstairs Woo! so guys this sweatshirt is the comfiest sweatshirt I've ever experienced it's actually a men's sweatshirt I bought it at Kohl's for $20 it's actually really really comfortable urban pipeline that's what it's called but it is the ultimate hoodie that's what it's called and it is the softest hoodie I have ever experienced in my life. I got it on sale. If you go to Kohl's and you shop at Kohl's, they always have a sale of like 30, 25%. I also got this new camera and I'm not really sure if I like it. I don't know. I got the Canon G7X Mark II and I don't know, it's autofocus. It's just not then again, I, I really just opened it out of the box, so I don't really know how to work it. I just <laughs> hit record, so. Unreasonable expectations, right? You're just like, ah, oh, why isn't working? And you're like, I haven't even read the manual, so I can't be like that. Um, but anyways, we got an office printer. Oh, she is. Oh, she is. We got the Office Jet 525, or 5255. So I have been doing a bunch of research on printers because I knew I wanted to get one because I really wanted to start making some kind of like wedding greeting card. Uh, but we have, we have this printer, which is a laser printer that I actually got for Christmas last year from my husband. 
Thanks, babe, I know. Nothing says I love you than a laser printer, am I right? But I got that for, to create metallic, or to use my mink machine. A mink machine just basically foils a greeting card or just foils a piece of paper or something. But it's black, it's only black ink, it's not colored ink. And I wanted to start printing invoices for each order. There's mistakes made when you have a lot of orders after a while. And don't get me wrong, whenever I make a mistake, I always reconcile it. I always make sure that the, the um, person is getting exactly what they want. I mean, granted, that doesn't happen all that often, but it, mistakes do happen. So um, I want to start printing invoices. That way we see, the, we see the order, we see the box, we see whatever they ordered and making sure that the name and the design is exactly what they wanted. So I wanted a printer that not only would be good on ink, would print really nicely and clearly, but I also want to get a printer that will print in color and also print on cardstock because I want to use the 110 weight um, cardstock, which is a very, very thick cardstock, but it looks beautiful for cards. Well, a lot of people like Epson, but I haven't had the best experience with Epson printers. And I have a HP, my husband and I have an HP and it has printed beautifully. I had to print little game cards that I made that I might actually put on the shop as downloads for my best friend Taylor's bridal shower. Just used the HP printer. Didn't tell my husband because we ran out of ink and uh, I used up all his ink. So he was like, who used up all the ink? And I was like, I don't know, I don't know. That is my reasoning for buying this, this baby. So we're gonna take it out of the packaging. Also the reason why I'm taking it out of the packaging now is so that because trash day is tomorrow and I don't want to have a bunch of boxes for an entire week. I don't really know where to put this. I guess I could put it on top of that printer. I've seen a lot of studio vloggers do that. You know who my favorite studio vlogger is right now? Catnip. If you guys never seen her, she's the cutest thing. I, l I love watching her videos. They're still so like aesthetically pleasing and her brand is so perfect. She's from the UK, she does Etsy and she does like a lot of sticker making and like greeting cards and stuff. Um, and her designs are really cute, so. The only problem with that is, is that this thing is bending. Hmm, where could I put this? I might just have to put it on the ground and then get like a separate, separate table for it. Like a little tiny table. I have an idea. So I have this random wine box. It's a Paul Hobbs Cabernet. If you're interested in wine, it's from Napa Valley. I stole a bunch of these for my work, for my wedding. A lot of restaurants, a lot of like nicer restaurants just get rid of these. And sometimes they sell them, sometimes they throw them out. You can also get them if there is a um, Total Wine near you, they actually sell these for like $5. Sometimes they sell them for like more expensive, it's a more expensive wine, which sometimes I think is bullshit because they're just gonna throw them out anyways. It's just annoying. back there. The amount of dust. I just don't have time to dust right now. I actually found this recommendation on Etsy, like an Etsy forum. Um, it was, if you just Google like what's the best what's the best printer for cardstock and then type Etsy at the end of it on Google. It will give you a forum on Etsy of just like other sellers that are just basically like giving their advice on certain printers, their history of them, why they're using them because as much as you like to read the uh, reviews on Amazon, I mean so many people on Amazon are using printers for so many different reasons. I want to hear mainly reviews from people that are using it for the same reason I am, if you know what I mean. So Etsy forum is actually a really, really good tool.
printer all set up. Um, I haven't done a test print or anything yet, so I'm going to do that. I've just been answering some messages and doing some design proofs for customers. Look at the, how cute this one is. Her daughter is uh, having a sweet 16 and they're having a Cinder Cinderella theme. I'm also watching all things Adrian. I don't know, it popped up on my recommended page and I really like Adrian. Um, Adrian Ballon. Um, so, She's having this mom uh, contacted me. She wants to get a box for her daughter, Sweet 16, but she's kind of in a bind because she needs it by the January 10th, it's January 3rd. Um, so I'm designing some things for her because I guess her last previous card box, she got it from, a diff I don't know who she got it from, but it was supposed to be this like Cinderella cage, like the Cinderella uh, carriage cage, but I guess the metal came all bent. So she's kind of in a bind. So I just designed this. So I just designed this design for her, which is Cinderella silhouette. And then I actually don't know her name. So I just used my own name as a mock-up just to send her and see if she even likes it or if she just wants her daughter's name and not have Sweet 16. And then it's black right now, but she can get it cut in any vinyl color that she wants. So I think she's thinking gold or, or we even have like a teal uh, glitter, which I think would be really, really pretty, especially, I don't know if she's going with the whole Cinderella theme of like the blue teal bluish baby blue kind of color now i am going to try and um i want to see how the heat press will work because i want to start making these bags uh that are kind of meant for bridesmaids for a bridesmaids gift here i'll show you so i put this on my instagram a while back but it's the it's these um uh, burlap bags, which I think are so cute. And I'm figuring that brides would like to use these as gifts because it's personalized with the uh, bridesmaid's name or just your name in general. And they can use it as a gift bag and also a reusable bag because it's actually a really nice bag. I'm going to start trying to make these. I put these on my Instagram a really long time ago asking if people like the full name or the monogram. And I kind of was torn. I think it was like 52, 48 or something like that. It was super close for voting because I had people vote. So if you guys want to kind of have a say on um, certain products, I always share them on Instagram because I love sharing them on Instagram. And sometimes I take a poll on because I can't make a decision. And the decision is I'm just gonna do both because literally the voting was so close. Um, we're gonna design some of those. I wanted to try and take product pictures, but I also think it would be really cute to take a product picture with like flowers coming out of it and someone holding it. So in order to do that, I need two people. So let's make a burlap bag. Bleach my We're also gonna put back Adrian, Hello, and I'm gonna mute this. Well, good morning, Oregano. So we got these at Wild Beauty Supply. So that is still heating up. It needs to reach 300 degrees. So currently I am answering emails or messages on Etsy because now I'm getting wrapped up in, in customers. So uh, customer service is something that's super important, especially as an Etsy shop seller. If anything, and you're thinking about doing Etsy, your customer service is 
is so important. It needs to be like your top priority. I don't really want too much time spaced out from messages. I try not to, but sometimes it, it's just inevitable. Sometimes like things happen. I'm the only one that really answers messages. My mom answers messages sometimes, um, but if I start it or she starts it, then we continue on with the messages. But sometimes, you know, you're working or, or at, you know, doing something so you don't have time but I they're messaging me my cut the customers that I sent design proofs to are messaging my, me right now so I'm gonna do that and wait for that to heat up it still needs to be at a hundred degrees and it sounds like Nick is home right now so maybe let's see if he'll be coming up so this woman, um, Amelia, she really likes the snowflake one, this one, but she is not totally in love with it. So she would love to see this design, uh, which is one of our designs on the site. You can't even see it. But instead of the flowers, she would want snowflakes. So I'm gonna start a screen recording and show you guys how I'm gonna make this hexagon into snowflake pattern. Um, so let's do that now. Wow, look at you making stuff. Celsius to Fahrenheit. So, here's the makeup bag. Babe, I need your input. Yeah. So do you like it, the monogram right in the middle? Or do you like it like on a side? Middle? Side. You like it right there? Yeah. I'm gonna put it on one more time. All right, so these did not come out how I wanted them to. It, they barely even stuck. So as you guys can see, I still, I just got the heat press, so I need to really figure out uh, the temperature. And the only problem with burlap is nothing really adheres to it. So I'm going to mess around with these until I actually get them right and seeing what temperature works best for burlap. Burlap is really hard to work with, clearly. Also, I tested out this bag, which is a, it's going to be a makeup bag. The zipper is a little hot because I just took it off the heat press. But as you saw, I wanted to see if I liked it in the middle or up to the side. I think I might give the option to you guys on the Etsy shop if you want it in the middle or to the side. So this is what it looks like in gold. I actually really, really like it. I didn't think I was going to because I was like, oh, this gold is kind of cheesy, but with the gold metallic vinyl, it looks so stinking cute. Um, but I'm gonna put these on the shop and then I have a black one. I think we also might get these in like a hot pink too. And I think they have them a hot pink in like a teal. So I'm gonna test these out. See how I like them. This one is actually for me. Has a nice gold zipper, which I absolutely love. And then inside, it's like this nice, uh, easy washable material. And it actually comes all the way out. So in case you like spill your foundation, which <laughs> we've all been there, um, 
you can easily wash it. So I think these are so cute. I'm gonna put these on the shop and maybe I'll do these as the, uh, as the showcasing like how to put a product on Etsy from start to finish. So this black one is so cute. I really want to create a really, I don't know if I should do a full name or if I should do the monogram. I mean, obviously I'm gonna give you the choice of doing the monogram or the full name. So take your pick, but let me know in the comments down below if you want to see a monogram on this one or if you would like to see a full name because I would love to hear your opinion. So. Um, that is it for today. I really hope that you guys enjoy this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, or any suggestions for future videos, please leave them down in the comments down below. I love you guys, and I will talk to you later. Bye! Ow.